Hello everyone, my name is Western Angel 11. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of this great big box. What's the one I'm going to be opening today? Now, what this box contains is a very old, it's a bit of an older, what's well, well, a newer take on play sets instead of the older style. It came out in 2012. It's the Sodor's, that Sodor Slate Work set, which is a recolor. Of the take and play load and go set, which is a Target exclusive, if I recall. But this set was actually a Toys R Us exclusive. It's much more difficult to find. So, yeah, let's get into opening this great big box. I also got this from the person that I bought that take and play Timber Sheds set from. The reason why I'm not doing a review of this set is due to the fact that it's missing some parts unfortunately. Because if it did have those parts then I would have probably done a review of that as well. And well, my table currently has my Tomy track must layout out on it. I'm gonna remove that in like a few days. So yeah. And it's all folded up. Oh, sorry, slate loading station. That's the name of this set. Dang, it's really big. How do I remove this now? Okay, got it out. Double check in case you put anything in these. Now that's empty. This is empty. Nothing there either. All right. There you go. This is the slate loading station. Now it's unfortunately missing quite a few pieces, which is very unfortunate. Like the main thing that I'm mostly disappointed about is that it's missing the little curved piece of track around here. As you can see, we're like plugged in. That's not here, unfortunately. Need to fold it down. This piece comes down here. This section, get this out of the way, it goes down to here. And does this plug in? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. No, it doesn't really like plug in anywhere. I think this piece, uh, it's like latched in here. Hold on, like, do I open this? Not too sure how this works though. Let's see here that's like hold together right there on both sides. I'm not too sure how to detach this. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's how you detach it. Nice and simple. Oops, hit the stand. There we go. Pull this out. Like this, and then all you gotta do fold this out and then just attach it right here. There you go, this is a really big set, which is very nice. Quite like the look of it. And as you can see, there's a ton of pieces here missing, unfortunately. Of course, I've already talked about the track. The Thomas isn't here, but I don't really care about that, of course. Missing the truck, along with the little cargo piece that would've been in it. It's also missing the two little pieces that were gone here. I think one would've gone over there as well. Um, no, I think they only came with like two of those little like signs or whatever. And it's missing the little crane piece, or the piece that would've gone to this crane section. Which is unfortunate. Like, I think this comes down, actually. I don't know, it doesn't seem to that much. I don't know, it was a bit of a tall piece. You can slide this over here and there, which is cool. Yeah. So yeah, it's quite unfortunate that these pieces are missing. And another thing that I've, that's missing is, of course, like the other cargo pieces, that being the barrels that we've gone in there. 
but I think I might have, I have ones that are quite similar, but I have no idea what set these came from, where these came from at all. Like my friend is a, a take and play expert, a diecast nine expert, and he also has no idea where these are from. And these are these little barrels. I can also put a post on my Instagram. Also follow me on Instagram. I haven't uh, said that on my channel yet. I also have a Twitter account, by the way. But like, I have no idea. Neither of us have any idea of what this these little barrels came from. These are very similar to what came with these set. They were also brown, but they have like a white logo on them. But these have the Diesel Works, the Wickerstown Diesel Works logo on them. So I have no idea what these set came with, or what set these came with. Because the only Diesel Works set is that one of the Diesel Works that came out in like 2010 or 2011. And that one just comes with diesel. That comes with no ro no like cargo rolling stock at all. So that's pretty odd. I'm just gonna put these like right here. Look at that. Actually, that was one difference between these two sets. Like this. Like, uh, this is based off the Blue Mountain Quarry, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. Also. There are like mainly two differences between the two sets, aside from the color scheme, that being that this one, like the curve section here that's missing, like there was only like the curve itself, whereas on the regular load and go that came, that was a target exclusive. That one had like a wall as well, be underneath the tr along with the track, which is a big difference between the two. And another difference is that. That one only came with two barrels, whereas this one also came with another cargo piece in the truck. Of course, the truck is different as well. So, uh, I don't know why this makes squealing noises, but whatever. And you can also see on the back here, there's a little piece here to connect track. So, yeah, hopefully, maybe one day I'll be able to find like another one of these, or maybe like the regular version. That of the regular load and go it still has those pieces maybe one day hopefully then i could somehow complete this one yes that one day that would be very nice but yeah fortunately that's all i can do for now and by the way comment down below if, in case you know what set these little barrels came from of the camp maybe like some sort of four pack or whatever that's a possibility as well. So I'm just fold this up real quick. What the hell was this? Whoops, I'm a little confused on how this goes together again. This goes up here, like so. Doesn't this go up? this and this go up like so? Like this. There you go like that and like that, and there you go. I just fold this back together. Yeah, if I ever remake my like take and play slash take long layout, I'll definitely try to incorporate this set into it. There you go. That was my unboxing of the Taken Place Late Loading Station. I hope you all enjoyed. See you all next time. Bye.